Hello and welcome! This video will walk through how to promote an employee in Bronco Hub. Please note, only non-competitive promotions where there is no change to the position control number or PCN must be done through Bronco Hub. All other promotions must be done through PageUp. Non-competitive promotions are rarely used. Examples of non-competitive promotions are promoting an employee from associate professor to professor or a professor to chair position. When promoting an employee, you will need to calculate their hourly rate. The hourly salary fringe calculator provided by Human Resources can be found under the My Organization header in Bronco Hub. Let's get started. Begin by signing into Bronco Hub from My Boise State. Once you're logged in, locate the My Team header. A group of icons will appear below the header. Click on the My Team icon. In the Workers section, locate the appropriate employee. Click the ellipses next to their name. Select Promote from the drop-down list. If the individual has existing direct reports, the Reassign Existing Reports tile will appear. You can select it to reassign the individual's direct reports to a different line manager. In this example, Buddy Bronco doesn't have direct reports, so the Reassign Existing Reports tile doesn't appear. If you're assigning the individual direct reports, click the Add Direct Reports tile. Click Continue. In the When and Why section, enter the following information. When does the promotion start? This is the date the promotion is effective. What's the way to promote? Select Promotion. Why are you promoting the employee? Select the applicable reason from Interim Assignment or Promotion. If you selected the Add Direct Reports tile, you will see an additional field. Why are you making changes to Direct Reports? Select Manager Change. Then click Continue. In the Promotion section, you are able to edit the following information. Person Type Job, formerly known as Job Code Business Title Department Location Assignment Category Hourly Paid or Salaried Working Hours, Payroll Group, and People Group. In this example, we are only changing Buddy Bronco's job. The business title automatically updates based on the job we've entered. Click Continue. If you need to update the Costing slash Funding Details section, you can do this by clicking on the Edit icon next to the Funding information. You can also add an additional funding source by clicking on the Add button. You are able to add or update the following information. The four-digit funding source type, the five-digit department ID, the seven-digit cost center, the 10-digit supplemental number. If your department does not use a supplemental, input 10 zeros. The 10-digit project number. If your department does not use a project, input 10 zeros. Always refer to the All Segment Values Report linked in Bronco Hub and on the Bronco Hub Training Portal to confirm accuracy of funding segments entered. In this example, we are not changing Buddy Bronco's funding information, so we don't need to update this section. Then click Continue. In the Maintain Managers section, the Manager field defaults to the current line manager. Important note, if the department segment was updated in the costing slash funding details section, the line manager of the employee being transacted upon will update to the funding source manager of the department. Always verify the correct line manager is listed. If you're not making changes to the line manager, click Continue. If changes are needed, click the Edit icon to edit the line manager. This will allow you to search for an active Boise State employee in the Name field and select Line Manager as the type. In the Name Search field, Begin typing the individual's first or last name and select them from the drop-down list. Select Line Manager in the Type field. In this example, we are not changing Buddy Bronco's Line Manager, so we don't need to edit this section. Then click Continue. In the Salary section, you can update the following information. Salary Basis Hourly Rate Adjustment Amount and adjustment percentage. In this example, we are only changing Buddy Bronco's hourly rate. 
click Continue. If you selected the Reassign Existing Reports tile, the Reassign Existing Reports section will appear, and you can reassign direct reports. Since Buddy Bronco doesn't have direct reports to reassign, that section didn't appear. If you selected the Add Direct Reports tile, you will see the Add Direct Reports section. Add the applicable direct report information here. Direct reports can be added by searching for the individuals to add by typing their first or last name. Then select the individual from the drop-down list. The reporting relationship will default to Line Manager. Click Continue. In the Comments and Attachments section, add any applicable comments and attachments to the transaction. Please check with your department's business manager for any required comments or attachments. Once you have completed all sections, scroll to the top of the page and click Submit. This action will route to the line manager of the individual being transacted upon or proposed line manager if they are being transferred to a new line manager, the assigned funding source manager, human resources, and to the college or division approval group. If applicable, it will also route to the graduate college if the transaction has job codes 49121, 49120, 49112, 49110, 49111, 49181, or 49180. Provost Office, if the individual is a faculty member, assigned principal investigator if it is grant funded, and extended studies. Thank you for watching this video on how to promote an employee in Bronco Hub. For support related to human resources, contact human resources at hrs at boisestate.edu or visit boisestate.edu slash hrs. For support with job aids or Bronco Hub functionality, please visit boisestate.edu slash continuous dash improvement to submit an OCI service request.